Hi everyone, welcome to today's video which is about my Bechetta plush toys collection. I'm starting off today with Marshall the Australian cattle dog. Uh, these are both Marshall. I generally don't go out of my way to get two of the same plush but there is a reason. Uh, the one on the left here, this guy I got from the a thrift store or an op shop if you will, um, not long after my son was born and the one on the right I actually was very lucky to win in a competition from a plush store online so there you are I couldn't decide to part with either of them so I've kept them both I guess they do look quite different even though they are the same one essentially uh, just this one is the older version that they made and this one is the new one so there are I guess subtle differences the older one looks slightly shorter than the new one um, that collar, I don't think it came with it. <laughs> I think that was just from the previous owner put it on him and I've just kept it on because I think it looks quite cute. So I'll just show you from behind. Oop, turn around guys. So these are the Bashida tags. I'll just make sure we can see that a little bit closer. That's what they look like. And see, my name is Marshall. I am a blue Australian cattle dog. I live in Australia. So there's Marshall. It's a very lovely one if you can get your hands on one. I love the texture that they've used on the fur and it's got really great detailing as you might be able to see here in the video. Just show you underneath as well. So again, they are both Marshall, the Australian cattle dog, but this, these ones are the newer ones. So I'll move those two guys out of the way. Okay, so another Australian cattle dog which I purchased is Flame. So this is the orange one, the orange Australian cattle dog. I'll just show you the tag. Red Australian cattle dog. So this one's a bit smaller and it's the lying down one. It's about 28 centimeters I would say still very cute obviously I thought it was really cute because I purchased it so that's flame and the next one I will show you which I thought was quite unique and I, I had to have it in my collection is the a brown and white border collie I hope she's gonna stay sitting so this is Brandy see her eyes a little bit better. I think this is the only brown and white border collie plush that I have in my collection and she's super lovely. Just show you her tag. Brandy, I am a border collie. So there's Brandy. So very unique if anyone's after a brown and white border collie because usually uh, in terms of plush you only see the black and white more often than not. So this one's a really nice one to get. It's Brandy. And speaking of border collies, here is a black and white one. Another lying down one. This is pretty much the same size as the red cattle dog that I showed you before. This is Patch, the border collie. My name is Patch. So this one's got a soft nose. Cute. I love the little tongue out that I think most of the ones that I've showed you have had their tongue out so far. It's very lovely. Okay, so there's Patch, the Border Collie. And this next one that I'm showing you is also from a thrift store, so another second hand or pre loved baby. This is Lacey, the Labrador. Tag's a bit damaged, but still attached, which was a nice find. So, Lacey the Labrador. That one. It, if you can't tell from the video, she is like a, a really dark brown. Her fur. Skin, tongue hanging out. It's a very sweet face. So, that's Lacey. Not sure if you can tell. It might be able to help you see a little bit more. So yeah, a really dark brown colour fur, which is really nice. The next one is Alex, the King Charles Spaniel. I love the eyes on Alex. It's really cute. You can see 
the big eyes. Show you the tag. My name is Alex. Sorry about my camera work, guys. But this one is so super lovely and soft. I actually um, got this one from the post office one time when I went to go post something and I saw it and uh, yes, I dropped one thing off to go and replaced it with another plushie. So here we are, Alex, she's really cute. And the next one, which I will show you is Chief, the German Shepherd. Another lying down one. This one we got uh, we're on a trip to the city one time from a store called the Teddy Bear Shop in Melbourne. Let's show you the tag. Chief the German Shepherd. So this one, including the tail, is a little bit bigger than the other lying down ones that I have shown you. Probably closer to 35 centimetres or maybe a little bit more. Another cheeky one with the tongue out. So that's Chief. And the next one that I have is the Husky, which is named Button. So that's a lovely, it's quite a unique sitting position from the other ones. Again, that tongue out. And I'll show you from behind. Very lovely fluffy tail. Button the Husky. So, uh, as with all the Bechetta ones that I have, they have such lovely detailing on them. You can see even on the paw pads, and they're quite firm, the legs, into that sitting position, but the fur and to hold it, uh, you know, in, within the body and everything, it's quite soft. So, you know, they're good for collectors to have up on the shelf, but you can still also cuddle them. So, good for everybody. So, that's Button. And I'll bring out the next two, which are both Staffordshire Bull Terriers. So this first one is DJ, which is super lovely. He has a red collar on. And this next one that I have here is Scooter. So they both have the red collars. Scooter was another lucky find from a thrift store. So he's another pre-loved baby. Can tell he looks a little bit worn out, but still plenty of love to give. So they're my two staffies. I'll just turn them around so you can see them a little bit more. DJ does feel quite stiff. Um, still soft, but I guess he's really uh, holding up to the name of a staffy. If you ever give one of them a cuddle, they are quite solid to feel. So I guess that's quite realistic. I think this one had quite a bit of cuddles from the previous owner, so it's a bit softer. You can really give it a squeeze, whereas this one is quite firm. So they're the two staffies. So I'll just move those guys out of the way. Um, this next one that I have here, which is a pug. I was trying to find the name of it online, but I could not for the life of me find a proper picture. So please, if anyone's um, aware of what this guy's actual name is, I'm not 100% sure, but me personally, I've named him Chaos. I just like that name. So maybe I'm lucky and uh, that might be the actual name. I'm not sure, but again, this was another find from the thrift store. It's pretty loved but still in beautiful condition. So they do hold up. Lots of cuddles. So there's that one. He does have a very interesting nose versus the other one. He's got like that leatherette, the fake leather nose. Which is quite interesting. So there's Chaos. Not Again, not 100% sure if that's the name. That's the name I've given him. This is another big baby. There you are. This is Jackson, the Golden Retriever. He's got such a cute face. This one's a nice big one to cuddle. I'm not sure if we can pan out and show you. Yeah, look, he's lovely and big compared to the one I just showed you. <laughs> so quite a sizable difference there. 
is really lovely and soft. Beautiful different textures that they've used too. And the ball pads. So there's Jackson. Not too many more to go. Oh, I just showed you my wall. There you go. Next two that I have here are Kelpies. So this is another pre-loved one that I got. This one here is Parker. And his friend over here is Gizmo. Let's show you the tag. Ooh, you don't want to see my hand. Let's get in there. There's Gizmo. So they're both really lovely. I love them together as a pair. They're really cute. This one's really lovely and soft as well. It's not stiff. It's, it lays down in that nice laying position and it's lovely to cuddle. So there's Parker and Gizmo. And I just have two left, so I'll just move the Kelpies out of the way. And the last two are also pre-loved. Seem to have found a few pre-loved. So this is Max, the dingo. And this is Raina, the red fox, if I can get in to see that. So they're both super adorable. I couldn't help myself, had to bring them home and add them to our forever home here. So Max the Dingo, these ones both have the whiskers. I'm actually quite fortunate that their whiskers actually are in quite nice position. You know, sometimes you get these plush and they've got those wiry whiskers and they're a little bit um, crooked or mismatched. But these ones, you know, for pre-loved babies, they look really nice. So that's Max. The dingo and Reynard the fox. So that's the last one that I have to show you of the Bachetta plush toys that I have. Um, these ones are quite good in the fact that I can get them quite easily in Australia, which is nice. Um, a lot of other plush that I like to collect usually come from overseas, so it's a little bit harder and more expensive for me to get my hands on but in a way um, I'm very grateful that we have these Bechetta plush toys here so easily accessible. Um, yeah if anyone's got any that they have in their collection please leave a comment which one might be your favourite or if you'd like to see some more of these guys featured in another video I can definitely do that too. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Bachetta plush toys. If anyone's got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, take care. Bye.